Okay, so uh, we're going to start working with functions in this lesson. Uh, functions are a collection of code that are run from one um, line. So we're going to turn all of this into a single function that we're defining. Uh, right now, we're actually already using functions. So we can see um, seed is a function and rand range. Here is a function, the um, str function here that converts your numbers into strings is a function. And um, so we've already been using functions, but this time we're actually going to be creating our own function uh, out of all this code. And it's because we're going to be continue working on with this program and we want to be able to make it a little bit more versatile and use less code by doing functions, um, make things a little bit easier, organize it a lot better. So how do we do that? We go here, df will define our function. Uh, we have to give it a name, uh, roll die will be the name open close parentheses in there um, eventually we go arguments if we needed any in this case we don't need any arguments um, in the next lesson we'll do an example where we do need arguments and then add a colon so all of this right now it doesn't know that it's going to belong to this function inside of python the way we do that is by indenting so if we select all of this and tab in it's all indented. So now this function knows that um, all this code that is indented immediately after it belongs to this function. Um, at this point, um, if we were to run this inside of Maya, so we can try that. You're gonna see that it doesn't output anything. And the reason for that is that we've only defined the function. We haven't actually ran the function itself. In order to do that, we need to go back to the main level of our script here, and we have to call the function. So roll die, open close parentheses, and that should be it. So let's copy this and run it inside of Maya. And now you can see that our code is working again. We got the random values going. All is great. <clears throat> There's one more thing that we're going to want to do. Um, in the future lessons, what we're actually going to do is have a physical piece of geometry that represents our die. And we want it to rotate to show the value that we actually want to output. So. In order to do that, we have to return a value. And in this case, what we want to return is the value of die, which is going to be the number that is generated each time we roll the die. Um, right now, we're just running the function. Uh, but we would need to get this value that it is spitting out to be equal to a variable so that we can hold and store that. Um, in this case, let's call it roll, and roll is going to be equal to roll die. So that is going to create a um, variable that holds whatever number is stored right now. This will actually not work any differently um, other than it's storing the actual number in there. So let's run this. It should work still. It does, so we are good. Um, in the next lesson, we're going to look at how to actually incorporate the geometry to work with this script as well. So we'll see you in the next lesson.